Hey folks, it's Andy from Nuthouse Industries. We're out here today to take a look at the interior of our Mixed Nuts living quarters unit uh, on top of this nice aluminum trailer toy hauler that we created. Let's go inside and take a look. Got dimmable light switches throughout for all the LED interior lighting. In our kitchen area, we have a residential style Corian counter. We got under cabinet lighting to light up the counter. Residential style int integral solid surface sink with a residential style faucet. Not your typical plastic RV stuff. Uh, our cabinetry below is all custom cherry cabinetry, plywood construction, little residential features like the pull out towel rack, things you don't typically see in an RV. Uh, these are all European latches and hardware. Uh, they're pushed in, the door is secure for travel. You pop it out, you have a functioning doorknob while you're at the campground. Uh, you see all these doors work exactly the same. Uh, this is all European hardware, which is self-close, soft-close action. So no slamming doors. Again, lock it up and you're ready to move. Our drawer construction is all on undermount, concealed, soft close, self close slides, a typical residential detail, uh, dovetail construction drawers. You can see the nice smooth action. Again, we latch the door shut. This lower piece here is actually a pull out step with storage built in. This is the allow access up to the uh, bedroom area. So here in the kitchen area, we have a Dometic convection microwave oven. We have a 12 volt powered range hood for the three burner gas cooktop and gas range, all electronic spark ignition, very nice unit, sealed burners. On the wall adjacent, we have our control area. We have a Girard instant hot hot water heater set the water temperature to the desired temperature and you have hot water uh, for the full time that you need it. Uh, there's no holding tank, no wasted propane, and we have 100 gallons of fresh water on board so you can take a pretty long hot shower with this. Uh, monitor system for the three holding tanks, two gray water and one black water, as well as the 100 gallon water tank is monitored here as well. Uh, this is our comfort control for the propane fired furnace the electric AC, electric heat strip, and heat pump uh, that this air conditioning unit has as well for your comfort. Up here in the bedroom area, we have an entertainment center, Bluetooth stereo, USB charging, 12 volt charging system, uh, another light dimmer for the bedroom lights. Uh, this would be Shore Power 110. This is actually off of a 1000 watt inverter. So in the event you need 110 power and you're boondocking, you have 110 power here available in the living space. Got a nice LED monitor TV on a locking swivel mechanism so you can rotate the TV, watch TV while you're up in bed or rotate it all the way around so it can be seen from our leather couch. Finishes throughout are all premium high-end finishes. The flooring is a high-end luxury vinyl hardwood look floor. Resist water, resist wear and tear. Beautiful floor holds up for a lifetime. Carpeting's all commercial grade carpet up through the bedroom area. One of the feature pieces of this is the cherry headboard up at the top. That's some hardwood lumber that was taken from a tree that uh, was cut down on the property of the owners of this particular unit. They brought it to us and asked us to incorporate it into the trailer. So we milled and created uh, a headboard, board and batten system to uh, just be a focal piece for that bedroom head wall. You can see the day and night shades uh, up here in the bedroom. Again, the ABS ceiling and the plastic laminate panels all bring it together nicely. Opposite the kitchen, we have more overhead storage cabinetry, just like the kitchen area, same latching hardware, soft close hinges. If you notice all this interior is plastic laminate, it's not vinyl siding, 
vinyl paneling like most RVs. This is a custom product by us, very cleanable, very durable. Uh, the ceiling is actually a quarter inch ABS plastic, very cleanable, durable, uh, very flat laying, no, uh, if you scuff it with something, you're not gonna have a mark or anything like that like you would typically an RV ceiling. Starting back here in the cabinetry, there's some overhead cabinetry above. Uh, this is our two door large fridge freezer, propane or 12 volt power. Custom wood panels to match uh, all the interior casework. The pantry cabinet here features lots of storage for food, small appliances, all adjustable shelving. Uh, we also integrate a, another hidden drawer here that has a separate key lock for security uh, for laptops, cell phones. This also has a 110 volt plug in it, so if you want to put your laptop in here, plug it in to charge up. You can close the drawer up, lock your lock, it's secured, it's tucked out of the way, or most people won't even know it's there. This last cabinet down here, we have the wardrobe cabinet. Adjustable shelves, hanging rod at the back here. And again, we're back to all self-close, European hardware, same latching system throughout. This is the entrance to our bathroom. Here we have our full walk-in dry bath. Uh, plastic laminate paneling again on the wall, the ABS ceiling panels. You can see the Whisper Quiet fantastic fan. There's two of those in the living space. Exhausts the uh, steam from the shower, keeps fresh air coming in the uh, operable window there. Uh, we have a residential grade porcelain hand sink. Um, it has a residential grade faucet. Again, no plastic uh, faucet involved. The toilet is a Dometic uh, porcelain lined uh, RV style toilet. The shower is a two piece enclosure, one piece tub, one piece upper section. All done up in ABS plastic, so nice, easy to clean, durable. We have a shower rod that projects out, gives you a little more wrap shower space when you do get inside the shower. Um, all plastic moldings throughout in here, so no, uh, no problem with water or moisture, things like that.